The same-sex marriage debate seems to be reaching peak lunacy, uh, with this week a worker being fired because she openly supported the No campaign. We've seen gay conservatives targeted for their advocacy of traditional marriage, and more corporations and sporting bodies are stating their support for same-sex marriage. Uh, the effect of all this is the polls have tightened. Uh, yes, is still ahead, but anything could happen. A right-wing online Facebook vlogger, Avi Yemeni, held a rally in Melbourne on su uh, Sunday 17th of September on the steps of Victoria's Parliament to call for the Andrews government to do something about the crime wave sweeping the state. The rally was called Make Victoria Safe Again. Uh, as is the case in Melbourne, uh, leftists organised a counter-protest calling the rally a fascist and Nazi gathering, even though Yemeni is a Jew and a Zionist who hates Nazis. The Australia-US refugee deal that Donald Trump has made clear he is not a fan of is beginning to be implemented. So far, the US will accept only 54 uh, refugees from Manus and Nauru, uh, but it will likely take tr another 12 months for them to process. Uh, the government is maintaining its policies of not letting any refugees who come to boat settle in Australia despite the howls of the left. A bill to legalise euthanasia has hit Victoria's Parliament and will be voted on by the end of the year. It has the backing of Premier Daniel Andrews and Health Minister Jill Hennessy. Uh, all attempts to legalise euthanasia have failed in state parliaments, though this current bill uh, has a serious chance of getting up. Uh, based on the overseas experience, uh, many people have a lot to he fear from the introduction of euthanasia. Donald Trump unveiled his foreign policy doctrine in his first address to the United Nations General Assembly on Tuesday. It is called Principled Realism, which encompasses his America First pledge, uh, that his foreign policy would work to protect the sovereignty of the people of the United States, but it would also work to protect the sovereignty of people from other nations. It is not a completely isolationist or non-interventionist doctrine, but it does indicate all foreign policy measures will have uh, US interests at home and abroad at their heart. Meanwhile, we saw some fake news emerge about the Trump administration, that it was softening its stance on withdrawing from the Paris Climate Accord. The White House came out the next day and said they were still committed to uh, withdrawing from the accord. Uh, this fake news was seized upon by Trump critics who claimed he was never going to follow through on his promises. Uh, but all this shows is that, uh, once again, how malicious the mainstream media is with their misreporting on the Trump presidency. A week after the London Tube terror attack, and lo and behold, the bombers were a pair of refugees, one from Iraq and one from Syria. Another reminder that yes, there is a link between refugees and terrorism, and the United Kingdom's problem with Islamism and terrorism is not going away anytime soon. Also in the UK, uh, they are moving even further to a police state with the Electoral Commission uh, recommending that social media trolls uh, be banned from voting. This basically means that if you hurt a politician's feelings, they can strip away your voting rights. This is a chilling attack on free speech, and if these politicians can't handle some mean words on the internet, then maybe they should find another occupation. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.